country, North Carolina, without star player Kenny Smith against Notre Dame. While the Tar Heels will have to rely on freshman J.R. Reed, Digger Phelps will counter with the Irish' leading scorer, playmaker David Rivers. Then on Sports World, it's boxing. Michael Elijah Day and dangerous Don Lee in a middleweight bout from Atlantic City. And highlights of the prestigious Milrose game from Madison Square Garden. Welcome to our NBC Sports Studios in New York. I'm Bill McAtee. We're getting set to send you out to South Bend, Indiana to see if number one North Carolina can continue the nation's longest winning streak against the Irish today. They'll try to make it 17 in a row. But first in the America's Cup, the U.S. has taken a commanding 2-0 lead over Australia. The only time Kookaburra 3 had the lead in the race, race 2 was at the start. But Stars and Stripes quickly took over in the rough seas of the Indian Ocean. In fact, the race was really won when the Australians miscalculated and made an incorrect jib selection early in the race, and the U.S. won by one minute, ten seconds. They are expecting much calmer seas off the west coast of Australia today. That is seen as an advantage for Kookaburra, so the Australians probably won't call a lay day. Now, if you were with us yesterday, you may remember we mentioned how Providence has used the three-point shot better than any other team in college basketball. Well, last night against St. John's, the Friars made 10 of 16 from the three-point line. Ernie Lewis hit four three-pointers last night, but Billy Donovan was the big man for Providence. He had four of six, 28 points on the night, and when they went to overtime, it was the shooting of Providence as they beat St. John's for the first time in three years. Now, before we go to South Bend, one quick note. We thought today you'd have a chance to see two of the nation's top point guards. But yesterday, Kenny Smith of North Carolina underwent arthroscopic knee surgery. He'll be out for about two weeks, and we'll have a conversation with him at halftime. The other story is David Rivers from Notre Dame. Rivers averaged 16 points a game his first two years with the Irish. But then on August 24th of last year, a van that David and teammate Ken Barlow were riding in overturned. For a time, his life was in danger, but three hours of emergency surgery at Elkhart Hospital in Indiana led to the long road to recovery. Much of that time spent in the water to strengthen the body made fragile by the shock of the accident. Injuries that included a 15-inch gash in his stomach. For David Rivers, his doctors agree his recovery has been remarkable. This season, he is once again Notre Dame's leader on the floor, leading the Irish in scoring. David Rivers a courageous comeback. We're set now for college basketball. You'll see the number one ranked team in the country, Dean Smith's North Carolina Tar Heels against Notre Dame. Let's go to South Bend. In college athletics, if you can't be number one, the next best is to beat number one. Digger Phelps, Notre Dame team, has that chance today. The Irish host the nation's number one basketball team, the Tar Heels of North Carolina, in an arena known for its upset.
offers a wide range of financial services. The history at the ACC of Digger Phelps upset victims, all number one, UCLA ending the 88-game winning streak in 74. San Francisco had won 29 in a row in 77. Marquette after Al McGuire's championship year in 78. And then DePaul University, they were unbeaten 25-0 when Digger Phelps Irish beat them seven seasons ago. Dick Hendrick with Al McGuire. The noise and the drama speaks for itself. The expectation here is to beat number one. How do they do it? Well, they have to put the ball away. they got to freeze the pill and put it in the refrigerator. Dick, if North Carolina scores over 65 points, Pap City for Notre Dame. So the Irish have to keep it in the 60s or even in the 50s. they got to melt the ball every time down. They'll be working against the shot clock. They won't start looking for their shot. Click it down to around 15 seconds. All right, North Carolina is without their star senior guard, Kenny Smith. Smith, an All-America candidate, here against Clemson. Number 30 hit one of his many three-pointers, scored 41 points on Thursday night. Then on Friday, said his knee hurt. Saturday, arthroscopic surgery will not play today, of course, and may not play for a week or two. We'll be meeting with Kenny Smith in Chapel Hill, North Carolina, at halftime. Now, he is replaced by Ranzino Smith. Ranzino Smith, in the last two meetings against Notre Dame, did not score a point. He can hold, but they won't be able to put as much pressure on the key man, the miracle worker, Mr. Lucky, David Rivers. And it is David Rivers that will be the focus of the Notre Dame offense. He leads the Irish in scoring with 15 points a game. It will be David Rivers, as successful as he will be, well, that will lift the hopes of the Irish and an upset today. For North Carolina, they've won 16 in a row. That's the longest winning streak in major college basketball. The brilliant freshman J.R. Reed, Dave Popson, and Joel Wolf, a front line that averages over 6 10. Jeff Lebo will now be the point guard, and Kenny Smith, Papsons, and Ranzino Smith complete the starting five, a better defensive player than offensive. Notre Dame is 11 and 5, but of their five losses, four of those came in the final minute. Donald Royal, Mark Stevenson, and Gary. Gary votes the front line. They don't have the depth, however. David Rivers is the key. He is their star player. Scott Hicks, with a hot day, could really benefit a Notre Dame cause. The officials today are all from the Atlantic Coast Conference. They're Joe Forty, Carol Dunney, and James Wright. Popson and both men having trouble with the toss and let's see if they do it again. Ranzino Smith, the pressure on him, filling in for Kenny Smith, and then Dean Smith does not have another guard. If anyone should get in foul trouble or tire, Joe Wolf would move into the backcourt at 6 10. I think maybe Dick could go to Hunter first. Maybe. seen many touches, at least six each time down. The match was clock down for about 15 seconds before they take their shot. They don't want to play an up-tempo game. North Carolina is number two in the nation in scoring. Around 95 points a game, second only to the University of Nevada, Las Vegas. While Notre Dame is number four in defense and allowing points. Ten seconds left to go. Royal! Again, reading the lift of Joe Forty, the referee, it's a technical foul. Now, now talking to Digger Phelps, telling Digger the same thing. Digger's going to close the microphone. Uh oh, here we go for a 10 minute lecture. Get ready for the sermon. My man is going to be held. Here we go.
Eagles as much time as they can on each possession. He's going to bring his up looking for a five pound if he can get it. This isn't difficult for Notre Dame to do. They just got to extend it longer. They've been doing this all year, but not to this extent. Donald Royal working on Wolf. Mark Stevenson. 13 seconds on the clock. Intercepted by Ranzino Smith. Good anticipation as he left his man and made the steal. Match in a baseline, Dick. It's uh, too many Clyde sales against uh, Tony. He is the great freshman. They are Reed in the last four games has just been outstanding from the field. I mean, a superhuman, in fact. 35 out of 40 from the floor. He's one for two today. missing only five, five from the floor, 35 out of 40. He's one for two today. I said to one of the newspapers down in Chapel Hill a week or so ago that not even Dean Smith can hide this guy. <laughs> <laughs> Dean likes to take care of the team. He's a good system. Six to four, Carolina with the ball and the lead. The 
they got to collapse more on Reed. Once Reed gets this ball, he's very mature. It takes his time. There has to be a collapse from the top. They should float off Hobson. Or the agility of the man to jump, use his body to shield off the defender and make the shot. He completes the three-point play, and Carolina leads by five with four and a half minutes gone. Up court pressure by the Tar Heels, and Rivers says, get out of here. I'll go one-on-one -on -one against Ranzino. And now they double-team Rivers in the backcourt. Good job. Scott hits, brings it in. There's the case in point. They had the shot, but Digger wants to chew up some time off the clock. Scott hits, not there. Rebound, Hoffman. could play both guard and forward, but basically it'll be Lebo and four front liners. They'll put the taller man, Hunter, on Rivers, but Rivers will go by Hunter. Let's watch what happens here. Rivers has to keep the triple alive longer. Rivers is involved in that August automobile accident, severe abdominal injuries, and yet here he is playing, still not 100%. Remarkably here at all. Scott hit. Not there. in Jamaica. He is 6'9", a junior. 9-7 on the three-point conversion by Gary Vogt. They must play up on Wolf if they expect to stop Carolina now. I float off Thompson a little bit. I float off Hunter a little bit. That's exactly what they did. They gave Hunter room outside, but there's Joe Wolf from 20 feet. Almost a three-pointer for Wolf. He has six. Can't allow him alone. He's in the top three or four drafts in the NBA from June. Double teaming, jump switch, and try to create shots so the clock doesn't move. Rivers inside to Stevens for a pick. Rivers, nice move, but off the mark. Royal can't handle it. Hunter for North Carolina. Kayaga, good position. Reed can't hit the banker. Gary Vos with a rebound. Intense defense by the Tar Heels. Trying to create play. The refs are aware of trying to get a five count to keep moving their arms. Unless they're cold. <laughs> Foul on Gary Vos for blocking Notre Dame center. Gets his second. Scott Williams is in for North Carolina. A freshman from Los Angeles. Williams replaces Dave Hobson. Bigger not at all happy about the foul call. It's 11 to 7, North Carolina, with seven minutes gone. This is Williams. He's today, Dick. He shoots like that all the time. Eight points for Wolf, who now is 6-11. Polar, Wisconsin. A six-point deficit staring at Notre Dame. And about 20 seconds on the shot clock, they should get the ball back into Rivers' hands and let him do his one-on-one. Royal against Wolf. Takes it inside and loses it to Hunter. Scott Williams at the other end to score, and it's 15 to 7, North Carolina. I might go to timeout here, Digger. Eight minutes gone. The Tar Heels with their 
biggest lead. Boy, look at how they pressure defensively and another turnover. J.R. Reed off to Hunter. Curtis Hunter's in the book. A 10-point lead for the Tar Heels. You better, you better stop this momentum. North Carolina has firepower, but people underestimate their great defensive talent. They'll turn it over, and that's exactly what they're doing to the Irish. Both Wolf rebound. Scott Williams, a jump hook, not there. Rebound, Mark Stevenson. Six turnovers to one, and Carolina's been converting them at the other end. Five to turn, that was a force by the jump switch. Stevenson in short. Royal inside. by JR. And with that, we have a timeout. 10.51 remaining in the opening half. Carolina by 10. BC Sports World. Boxing and the Milrose Games. Nehemiah and Foster in the hurdles and a chance to see Eamon Coughlin, one of the world's top milers in the Wanamaker Mile from Madison Square Garden. That follows our action here from Notre Dame, where North Carolina looking for its 17th consecutive win, leading host Notre Dame 17 to 7, nearing the midpoint of the first 20 minute period. It'll be the Irish ball on the far side, and number 33, Sean Connor, will play it in. He has just entered the lineup for Digger Phelps. Good pass to Royal. Takes it up in the crowd, and it's blocked. Both can hit the short jumper, and it's batted out of bounds by North Carolina. North Carolina is smooth. These just make the multiple substitutions. Everyone's expendable. So he can shotgun a lot of fouls. He can double team like that anytime he wants. Steve Bucknall, number 20, is in the game for the first time. Both assists to Rivers. zone, a 1-3-1 zone. Watch for Leboat hitting the outside. Digger Phelps being warned as he argues about the call on the last foul, and here's both good feed from Rivers. That is correct field vision from Rivers that time. Curtis Hunter will come in for North Carolina as Phelps continues to draw. He replaces Ranzino Smith. This team here is three uh, ACC officials, and when Notre Dame plays down at Chapel Hill, there's three Big Ten officials. Five-second violation, Notre Dame's ball. That normally does not happen to the Tar Hill. Now, here's Joe uh, Bodie is saying, hey, Digger, please now sit down. I don't want to hit you with a tee. Let this game go on. We'll ref the game you coach. Now, Dicker turns around and tells the guy, sit down. <laughs> <laughs> you are good at that, too. <laughs> yeah, I just told my assistant, Hank Ramis and, and, and Dick, now stop it, will you? You're annoying me. <laughs> and you continue to bait him. <laughs> David Rivers has not scored as yet. Here they are, double teaming him again. Well, they're not getting it back to him on the 20 seconds. They're looking out the first 25 seconds. About now that you're giving him 25 seconds left to go. Now, now, they, open, now they open up, I think, I think he can take Hunter, they open up. There's the 45 second clock. Mark Stevenson will take the jumper, tough shot. And it's North Carolina breaking out two on one, Hunter with Reed. And Hunter can't hold it. Hot dogs at that time, a little bit too much French pastry. He had Reed coming down. He could have given him a high lob pass for a dunk. And the Hall of Famer on the Carolina bench, Dean Smith, up and slaps his hand. Did not like what he saw there. Well, Dean never uh, criticized his ball. Oh, never. But I tell you, Hunter's coming out. <laughs> <laughs> that was Jerry White. <laughs> Knocked away off the knee of Gary Bose. And it's 
Carolina's ball. Here comes Ranzino Smith in. And, and uh, there goes Hunter. <laughs> <laughs> now we'll whisper something to you, Hunter. <laughs> Forget the showboat. The Harlem Globe try to play Sunday afternoon at 5. Nine minutes remaining in the opening half. North Carolina leading Notre Dame 17 to 9. As expected, a low scoring game induced by Notre Dame. Batted away nicely by the Irish. Long pass to Stevenson. They'll take it back around the horn. Donald Royal. And a knee on Hopson for blocking. Watch how quick the steal comes to Bellum. They try to loop it over. It was a bad pass. Sean Connor, Connor was the man who made the play. He drifted off the weak side. That's the side the ball is not on. You call it the weak side. Where the ball's on, you call it the strong side. Rivers, DeVos, Connor, three-point try. And rebound to Popson. No Wolf. He'll shoot it from the other end. And he misses. That's a rarity for him on that shot. Eight and a half minutes left in this first 20-minute period. 17 to 9. Number one, North Carolina, leading Notre Dame. Rancino doing a nice job on Rivers. Double team at Rivers. Gotta let it go, Connor. Con Connor hits at 17-11. His first bucket. Dick Hunter from a town of 1,800 people. Big Little Illinois. Combination defense. Two more zone to man to man. Two, three. Dave Popson. Nice shot by Popson from 10. Big pass. First. Typical shot. Popson has really found himself as a team. Carolina lead and the ball. Inside to Reed, knocked away by Rivers. Fine play. Seven minutes left. Eight points play. And Dino Smith is doing an excellent job on Rivers. Trying to catch some five counts. They haven't caught him yet. Donald Royal around KR. the secondary break. Watch. Now he watched the Arca down low. That's a three-pointer for Lebo. And it's 22 to 11. Lebo's first shot is a three-pointer. He's been hitting 50% uh, of those on the year. He has 36 of them. Lebo has twice as many three-point shots made as the Notre Dame team combined. Timeout with six minutes and ten seconds left in the first half. Tells the story. Al McGuire is head coach of Marquette University. You think, now this shot was taken at the end of a game here at the ACC. Do you think Marquette won or lost? <laughs> no, Dick. I was the white Michael Jordan. <laughs> he was sticking out his tongue after losing here to the Irish. But Michael always, if you notice, when, any, when he's playing, his tongue is always out. I better explain that. <laughs> North Carolina, typically one of the top shooting teams. 54% on the year this season, 59 today. And Notre Dame is cold. And the score reflects that. 22-11, the Irish, with 11 points in 14 minutes. I don't like the move. It'll only be temporary. Carolina's went to his own. Big 11 point lead. I don't think it's a smart move, personally. I'm not second-guessing their staff, but I believe Taken away by a foul. Buck call. When you got everything going your way, this, you got a little point lead. You got a bench that's a ton long. 
Only the third team foul on Carolina. Four for Notre Dame. So we're going to put on that double team. Rivers back to hips. Three-pointer. John Connor. Mark the saw when they went to the zone, Dick. I just, I just don't think it's a smart move. Notre Dame, fine. The 1-3-1 one, because one, they don't have any rebound in front. Hicks. Knocking the ball away from Ramsino Smith. North Carolina plays it with five and a half minutes remaining before the intermission. Very interesting halftime on Al McGuire's suit that involves the freshman eligibility and Proposition 48 and the coach's reaction to that controversial resolution. And also, Kenny Smith, we have an interview with him from Chapel Hill. A wide open is Hobson. Great surgeon work there. They just dissected that zone. Ten point lead for Carolina. Now they're back to man to man. Only loss for North Carolina came in the third game of the season at UCLA. Three point five by Connor. And a foul. Notre Dame uh, Donald Royal is called for the foul. When a bounce pass works, it's unbelievable. Watch this bounce pass. Hobson on the inside. Steve from Bucknall, who is from London, England, and came over here and interested in basketball, learned it in high school while going to camps, and then matriculated at North Carolina. He's become a fine player. Ten-point lead. Four and a half minutes. Back out to Thompson with 22 seconds. That's a three-pointer for Lebo. Boy, they set that up nicely. Lebo has six points on two shots. Again, smooth. They're aware of every type of defense. They have patience. Testimony to the talent of this North Carolina team to lose their floor leader, their leading scorer, Kenny Smith, come into the camp of the enemy and play so well. Sean Connor. For four and seven points for him. Ranzino from three and he hits. Oh boy, that, that's nice. That's the first pass he had against Notre Dame in the last three years. He's doing a great job on Rivers on the defensive end. Biggest lead for North Carolina, 14 points. And there's a five second call as Ranzino hawking Rivers and the turnover. That was inevitable. Three minutes, 34 seconds remaining in the opening half. North Carolina leads 30 to 16, and now the point uh, in question is pertinent. How close does Notre Dame have to be at halftime to entertain any hopes of an upset? I think they got to be in the area between 9 and 11, Dick, to have a good shot. But Notre Dame's going to make one or two runs. You do not come in the South Bend without Notre Dame making one or two runs at you, even in the second half. But Carolina, Dick, is such a talented ball club. They're not going to win every game, but they're so talented. Anyone that off the charge and makes someone better than they are, I'd have to see that talent. 30-16, North Carolina now trying to take advantage of the turnover on the five-second call. Francino Smith fouled by Rivers. First foul on Rivers at halftime. Kenny Smith will be our guest from Chapel Hill. And Proposition 48 basically designed to upgrade the scholastic standards of high school athletes going to college and in order for them to be eligible to pass certain, whether they be standardized tests or grades in the hardcore subjects in high school, and there's considerable controversy, perhaps not about the, the principles or the system, but how that is derived, how the testing is done. Ranzino drops in two more, and it's a 32-16 lead for Carolina. Tar Heels have done what they wanted to do, take the crowd out of the game. Nathan Rivers still looking. 
looking for his first points of the game. And boy, is Ranzino doing the job on him. But every, every switch, Ranzino's getting help at double teaming him. And KRE does, just couldn't get out of the way. 6'10 and 244 pounds of freshman Reed. Renzino stays on top of him wherever he goes. He plays him without the ball. The way to stop a man, the man, the man is to play him before he gets the ball. After a guy gets the ball, then you got to square up. And how he fought through a couple of screens there. They're trying to set up Texaco Rivers, but Renzino, too quick and too tough. Well, they go to a 2 3 zone again. Stop him from the outside. Inside to Royal. There's our three point shooter, Gunner. Well, second, he has 10. Second guessing anymore. They are Reed, little short, rebound to Gary Bose. Both coming on on the boards of late. Averaging around nine a game. Royal. Donald Royal from New Orleans. Five straight points for Notre Dame. It's an 11 point game with two minutes left. Royal 
set that pick, and on to Stevenson for two. That's nine straight for Notre Dame. We've got ourselves right now. Wolf time. Little red ride to it. Get it into Wolf. Dave pops it with that jump hook. Not there. Wolf has it stripped away in a foul. Watch Rivers drop down in here. Off the rebound. Wolf got it. Gives head and shoulders fake. Here comes Rivers. Caught the hand. Good call. Wolf seems to be coughing out there. I wonder if he has the flu. Rivers second foul in for Notre Dame. Number 43, Scott Paddock, a 6'9 freshman. He's on Wolf at the moment. Mismatch to get it in. They are Reed with Stevenson. the five-second count on Reed. Lebo inside to Popson. Traveling on Popson. So with nine consecutive points for Notre Dame, Dean Smith for the first time shows some concern. His one 16-point lead has melted down to seven. Watch him double team on Rivers once they crisscross.
steal by Lebo. Reaver, Rivers is open. 34-31. You can't tell me that basketball isn't a head game. Positive thinking. He insured himself. Back door. And a bad pass by Williams. Dean Smith wants a foul. That back, that back door was a foul. They held Lebo going back door that time. An obvious hole. Dean Smith is going to out. And they're going crazy at Notre Dame. The most punishing road in Europe is not the Appian Way in Italy. You will not find it in a remote section of the Tyrolean Alps. Or even some medieval village. Mercedes-Benz engineers would say they built it here, in the single thing in West Germany. A test of strength more brutal than any road. Punishing the car for weeks on end. Because in their quest for durability, Mercedes-Benz engineers just don't know when to stop. College basketball being brought to you by Michelob. So exceptionally smooth, the night belongs to Michelob. By Mercedes-Benz, engineered like no other car in the world. And by UPS, for express delivery to Europe and throughout the United States, UPS runs tightest ship in the shipping business. Carolina, number one in the nation, once ahead by 16. It's lead down to three at 34-31, and Notre Dame with a ball. A three-point attempt away from a tie. And all of a sudden, Rivers is hot, the confidence is back in him. Rolls just... Boom! Rancino Smith with a rebound. The numbers are there. Rancino oh, what a hammers shot. in a three-pointer. Great shot. Thing about Dean Smith's team, they really play for the three-pointer. He doesn't discourage it. Well, one of the reasons the three-pointers is because of Dean Smith. Like, they had the uh, three-point in the ACC about six, seven years ago for the tournament year. He likes the three-pointer. Three-point is part of his offense. Five minutes gone, second half. J.R. Reed almost with a steal. was here 13 years ago that Digger Phelps' team authored the major upset. Is the basket good? Yes. Foul on Stevenson for charging. 37-33. Iowa's pull this and no foul. Ball was out of his hands before he charged, they said. Let's see. Uh-uh, that was a close one. That was a close one. Back in 74, the UCLA's 88-game win streak, longest ever, ended on this court. J.R. Reed, a little short, gets it back. Oh, by Rivers. Unbelievable Houdini. There he goes, Quicksilver. North Carolina leads by four. Stevenson, the votes, 20 seconds on the shot clock. Rivers from outside. Six for Rivers, all in the second half. A two-point game. This is the closest the Irish have been since the opening minute. Carolina does not lose their composure. They'll punch the ball inside. Every chance they get, there it is. Williams. Saving it. Scott Williams did a good job of keeping possession. Three-pointer Ranzino. Not there. The Irish with a chance to tie. Here they come. And the crowd is on its feet. Davis, one of 14 children. 
That's a young man for 14 children. 35, North Carolina, with seven minutes on in the second half. He works for an electronic company. Nice ball movement. Scott Williams for the basket and a foul. Well, I'll tell you one thing. The subs on the bench are really working this game. I'm talking about the North Carolina bench. They're up on every call, cheering their teammates on. David Rivers picks up the foul, his third. That sends this young man, Scott Williams, to the line. 16 freshman from Hacienda Heights, California, the first West Coast recruit for Dean Smith in 25 years. Picked out by Wolf, and so a chance for not just two, but four, maybe five. Wolf. Picked Scott. out again. Great play by Scott Williams again. He kept the ball alive. Uh oh. And Dave Thompson comes up limping. Holding his calf. I think it might be the right ankle pick, but. For Carolina returning to the lineup. He's in pain. Let's uh, look at it again. Number 35 pops and see how it happens. Here he is right in the foreground. Most likely, more low enough, he most likely stepped on the foot of the Notre Dame player there to turn the ankle. Concern of Carolina for their senior Dave Popson. The score is 39 35. 12 minutes and 40 seconds left in the second half. J.R. Reed has already come into the lineup for North Carolina. Curtis Hunter, Scott Williams, Wolf, and Lebo will be there five. And while they attend to Pops, and now he'll get some help from his teammates. He can't put any weight on that. He can't ankle. put any pressure on it. Um, There's something about that. Bad luck of injury. When she wants to visit, she stays a while. Well, Dean Smith has had his share of it through the years. That year that Kenny Smith is a freshman with that great team, Jordan and Doherty and Perkins. Then uh, Steve Hale was injured in the playoffs. Hey, the year we won the national championship against him. He had two guys down. Two of the top five. Keeps his eye in the rim all the way through. 11.45 left. I have a young man that's uh, playing it safe. He got the Fighting Irish badge and a 24 Joe Wolf jersey for Carolina. <laughs> uh, two great universities represented today. And I guess any young man considering going to either of these two schools would uh, have a wonderful four years. Carolina seeking its 19th win of the year, 17 in a row, opening an eight-point lead after Notre Dame had pulled within two in the second half. Hunter on Rivers, John Connor back in the game with the ball. Hill, ooh, good shot. Well, he's the best athlete on the baseline. He can score, has an outside chance of playing pro ball. Stevenson, Gary Bolt. You know, Bolt has 
done a great job today. You know, he doesn't he doesn't score unless it's within two feet of the basket, but he's played good D. Nine minutes gone in the second half. 43-37, North Carolina leading Notre Dame. Nice pass by Connor to both. Oh, I just said he doesn't shoot with this. Point advantage inside to Scott Williams, and he is fouled. Gary Bose picks up the foul. Well, they say about this kid Williams out in California, they swear by him. They say he's outstanding. He didn't get a great profile since he was a senior. He went to those camps after his senior year. Pressure basket. He's quick inside, isn't he? He gets himself in good position. And he has the body of a basketball player. But what happens now, let's see if he can flank out the waving of the cards on this foul shot. Here they come. <laughs> so he just waits the three-point play. That gives him eight points in the game. He goes out, and Steve Bucknall is in. Seven-point lead. Here comes the pressure. Connors is free if they get it to him. Any pressure there, bounce passes to Clayton Irish. Good defense by Carolina. And a reach in foul against Bucknall. Well, Bucknall got caught that time on his rear end. No place to go. the second team foul on North Carolina. Three-pointer. Oh, and he actually moved his feet, toes off the line. But wow. Connor knows what he's doing. It's 46, 42. 280 kids in his high school and his dad is the principal of the high school. Fighting day I read hard, too. Franzino. North Carolina's Dean Smith sees his team jump up by eight. Now it's back down to four, and Notre Dame has the ball. But it's a different game now because this kid has confidence, and his dad is watching. Whoops. Foul for holding on Lebo. Can you imagine going to the dining room table with 14 teams? <laughs> Uh, those are 14 pieces of fine art. Double team. He kills his dribble. He's in trouble. He's in trouble. Oh, the foul on Rivers. He was right on top of it. He was right on top of the ball. They double team him, and uh, Rivers picks up his fourth. Rivers tried to get between the middle and the pass. Just trying to throw the pass through there, and that's a foul. Huh? Well, hairline call, either way. Could have went either way. That's what that double team defense does for you. Right. Zeno Smith, nice move. Rebound, Reed. Can't hit. Wolf can't hit. Look at that Bucknall come up with it. Now Carolina with four chances inside the Wolf. Not there, and a foul on Gary Bose from Notre Dame. His fourth, so suddenly, Digger Phelps has two key players in trouble with fouls. Got to be very careful with these fouls. You'll throw them on the floor. If they catch a kid in the eye, Dick, it's going to be a, a serious injury. This one, this ball doesn't go in. It was a good call. Bose is just riding with his hip off the court. So J.R. deserves the... the uh, it's a big foul against Notre Dame because it sends North Carolina into the bonus. Yep. Plus it's the fourth of both. 
both stays in, his replacement would probably be Paddock, the freshman. And at the line is J.R. Reed, who has only five points today. 47-42, North Carolina. Stevenson's jumping in real fast into the blue. Watch him. Fellow closest to him. He's jumping in and making contact with JR. Watch out quickly. There he goes. Making contact. Rebound to Donald Royal. North Carolina leads by five with 848 left in the second half. Stevenson. Bucknall has Royal Rivers against Ranzino. Nice rebound by Vos. Takes it up and scores. What an unbelievable game for this young man. Nine points for Gary Vos. He's averaging three and a half. What? Sticking down to the eight-minute mark remaining. Lebo goes in. Batted out to Ranzino. Goes to Jim Rivers. against Rivers. Lost control of the dribble. Look at Digger Phelps. He split the back of his jacket. Here he comes now. And there's the call. Excellent call by 40 again. That's a food broker from France Squad. He sells uh, PXs all over the world. Military bases. Rivers had a chance to get the Irish within one. 47-44. Got a 1-3-1 zone here, overplaying Lebo. Bucknall, back out to Lebo. Inside to Reed. Oh, nice shot by J.R. Reed. Oh, if he stays around for three more years, he will also, I don't know if he'll stay three, at least stay two. Eight points for Reed. North Carolina needed that one. They're back on top by five. Rivers has to start getting to the foul line. Putting more pressure on Sean Connor now because of his three-point shooting ability. Here comes Curtis Hunter in for North Carolina. And with it, a timeout with seven minutes and six seconds remaining. We'll be back after these words from your local station. Later the next week, a week from today, we'll be down in Chapel Hill as North Carolina hosts the University of Virginia. For the first time this year, Coach, I really sense uh, tournament time coming. There's an intensity and feeling about this game that I haven't sensed thus far. Well, you know, I think brings it also to kids here at Notre Dame. There's something about a college game on a campus that excites me. I personally believe that the NC uh, Final Four tournament game should be played on college campuses, not in Dome Marine. Even with your business mind, when you can only have 20,000 people well, versus 50,000 in the I dome? think it should be in buildings that were built for basketball, not in buildings that were built for baseball, and you get some seats where God hears your cheer before the fans, or before your players go. Working on Dave Pops in the calf. Apparently uh, was kicked accidentally bruised left half for dave thompson a rule of thumb dick if a ball play it doesn't go into the locker room he usually can play again uh oh what happened to mr gq <laughs> figures into this one good move inside no foul good defense by north carolina with a five-point lead hunter to ranzino Dean setting up for a three-point play if he can get it. And quick hand by Reed, and he scores! Oh, my! J.R. Reed, the ball on the floor. Little guy's digging at it, and he just rips it away and converts. Ten points for Reed. Seven-point lead, North Carolina. Stevenson alone misses everything. Curtis Hunter with a rebound. Long lead to Reed. Oh. by J.R. Reed. Beautiful hook. Reminds me of George Mike from yesteryear in the 40s. How do you stop that shot? 
by calling a timeout and getting your team back together again. That's it. Here's J.R. Reed, back-to-back -back baskets for North Carolina. One to catch the ball. Could have been a traveling call there. That's what Digger Phelps is arguing about. And then the beautiful jump up to give a North Carolina nine-point lead, six minutes left. All-American J.R. Reed. The strength, ability, agility, quickness, and touch all in one play. Look at the strength to get down, dig that one out, the agility to weave through, and then the touch to score. Just a growing young man at 18, J.R. Reed. You know, North Carolina's had about six or seven NBA rookies of the year. I could see into the future. That's a possible potential NBA rookie of the year someday. Reed's play here in the second half, opening up a nine-point lead for North Carolina. Still plenty of time. 5.56 left. They're mopping the floor on the far side. That's why it's delayed. within a basket of tying the game but couldn't pull it off they had the ball and down by two i thought at those times they should have kept the ball in river's hands but uh, carolina is the better ball they need a run right now inside out the way and it comes out to rivers they didn't, re continues. they didn't reset the clock. It wasn't possession, so there's 15 seconds left. Rivers with some fancy moves and a nice rebound by Royal. Now they reset it at 45. Five and a half minutes remaining. Rivers again. Long again. He's been long a month. Steals. And traveling is the call against North Carolina. Dean's yelling at me saying, take your referee in the game. <laughs> I, I said, Dean, leave me alone. <laughs> I got enough problems. <laughs> I'm getting too old for this. <laughs> Connor from three-point range, way off. Reed rebounds. That was a desperate shot. Lebo. He is where they want a good shot, Dick. They'll set it up and they'll take a high percentage shot. Notre Dame in a 1-3-1 one, one zone. You know, the thing you forget, Lebo with the ball is only a sophomore. I mean, if he plays like a senior, so much poise. And running the show, feels very comfortable doing it. A lot of people have said that he's the next Jerry West. There it is, Hunter to Lebo. 12 seconds on the clock. And he throws it away, and then Jerry Bose couldn't handle it. He was surprised by the pass, and that's... Uh, it's like a quarterback is thrown it right into your post, looked it right to him because he was in shock. Nine seconds on the clock. Ended up getting stone fingers. Get to Jeff Levo, go up. Seven seconds on the clock. It belongs to the Tar Heels. They'll play uh, North Carolina State in the middle of the week at Raleighville, Carolina, and then back home against Virginia. Our NBC game next Sunday. Watch an alley oop here. Watch an alley oop. There it is. Nice. They picked it up. Notre Dame did. Six seconds for Wolf. Lebo makes his move. And both rebounds and it's fouled by Reed. Third on J.R. Reed. Fourth team foul on North Carolina. That means North Carolina can still be aggressive with two more fouls before Notre Dame gets into the one-on-one. -on -one. Well, Ranzino Smith lost his man that time. Rivers scored, but Ranzino has really worked on Rivers, who now has eight. All in the second half. Might be looking to melt the clock a little bit too soon. I think they want I think they want a shot from JR. Can't hit Hunter though keeps it alive and a foul against Hill. I think it was against Hunter clearing out, I think. I 
was kind of blocked out Dick, by Dean Smith, but I think Hunter cleared out with his inside arm. There he is, Jim clearing out, he's pushing out there. So with 3.47 left, Steve Bucknell comes in for Carolina Hunter out. Do you think, Dick, that the scene is set for Digger Phelps to get an extended contract? <laughs> you said if he pulled the upset, he would. Well, the scene is set. There's enough time, a seven-point spread. Just need a couple three-pointers. Rivers. It's again, and David Rivers has ten. I would keep the five. I keep the ball in his hand 100% of the time going down the stretch. They'll look for three-point shots. They, can keep the, they can't see Lebo. They're favoring Lebo every place he goes. Get over to the corner here. Carolina will steal Here up. it is. There's Lebo from three. Not there. Close to Rivers. Down by five. Dean's offense is a three-point shot. The third time for the game. Less than three minutes to go. Inside the vote against Reed. And he fouled an almost a three-point chance to foul on Reed. His fourth. And he gives a little bit of a head fake on Reed. Reed doesn't react quick enough on this, and he commits the foul coming down. With maturity, Reed will end up just putting his arm up in the air and not bringing it down. It's a one-on-one -on -one at this particular time. We'll double check the fouls on Reed. We get a report now that only three on him. Both hasn't been to the line much. 11 for 15 on the entire year. Gentlemen's Day, if they happen to win, they're going to give the ball away. It belongs to this guy because he's playing so far above his uh, ability offensively. This would be his 11th point of the game. Cuts Carolina's lead back to three. They can't get rid of Notre Dame. The Irish just keep hanging on. He has all his timeouts left. So he'll have four timeouts to see if he changes it instead of five. Foul is second. Both way ahead of his average and now a 
14 points would tie the game and time out North Carolina with 1.36 left here at Notre Dame. One minute and 36 seconds remain. Notre Dame last led 6 to 4. North Carolina led by as much as 16 points. First half, then Notre Dame ran off 13 points in a row into the first half start of the second to get close. Then North Carolina rallied to go ahead by nine at 53 44. And now, with a minute and a half left, Gary Vos at the line with a game of his life, one point away from a tie. Both teams win the 1 1. Two timeouts left for Notre Dame, three for Carolina, and the arrow favors the Tar Heels. Great call timeout by Dino. It's off. Wolf and it hits the baseline to Notre Dame. Don't get too much instruction. Get the ball into David Rivers' hands. That's the back of Dean Smith signaling the North Carolina defense. You said in the 60s, it would be a chance of an upset in the 50s. Notre Dame could pull it off in 55, 54. 70s, Carolina had a win. 60s, they should win. In the 50s, Notre Dame got a good chance of getting bigger and new contract. David Rivers went flying. 23 seconds on the shot clock. He's going to do his thing now, Dick. He's going to do it. He's going to put it up and hold you.
throws up a prayer. Gary Bowles has it. David Rivers with 18. Timeout. Can they call a timeout? And an intentional foul on North Carolina. A two-shot foul. And now they can taste it at Notre Dame. They better not taste it too soon, Dick. Dean has a timeout left. And the Bowles has three-point shot. Slate made an announcement in the very first minute of the game when the fans threw out the usual toilet paper rolls and what have you after the first basket and was warned then. He warned the crowd to, to stay in control. And now the technical foul first. Gary Bose will shoot two because he was intentionally fouled. Then Dean Smith will get a technical foul, one shot, and the ball. If he makes this one, it creates a serious problem. Pretty much no chance. If he misses this one, there's still a chance for OT. Ooh, a miracle on 34th Street. Gary Vos with his 15th point of the game. Has been brilliant this junior. And now Jeff Lebo will shoot the technical foul for North Carolina. Five seconds remaining. Notre Dame by five. But a three-point play won't do it. It takes a shot and a foul. So Notre Dame will give Carolina the shot. I'm surprised that Digger just doesn't pull back into a tight zone. He let them have the three-point shot. Five seconds left. You can foul a guy with a three-point shot and make a four-point play. Joe Wolf, not there. Lebo, the basket is good. The final, Notre Dame 60, North Carolina 58. And number one is beaten again at Notre Dame.
58. Now stay tuned for boxing and the Melrose games coming up next on NBC Sport World for Al McGuire, Dick Emberg. So long from 